The following segment is sponsored by Parents Empowered. As kids return to school, they often meet and make new friends. This may lead to conversations about underage drinking. Liz with Parents Empowered is here to share how we can best bring up the subject with our kids. Liz, thanks so much for coming in. Oh, thank you for having me. This is such an important topic. Why is back to school time such a good time to talk to your kids about not underage drinking? Back to school is such an exciting time. My, my little one is starting kindergarten, so we're really excited our, at our house. Kids are making new friends, mm -hmm. they're having a new schedule. It's kind of that transition time and such an important time to have a conversation. There you go. Why does Parents Empowered focus on parents? I mean, it's in the name. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Why are you focusing on parents? Um, because parents are the number one reason. We kind of think about friends being their, mm -hmm. the big influence in their lives, but parents really have the most influence. And we know that if parents set strong rules around underage drinking and strongly disapprove, then kids are, are more likely to stay alcohol free until they're 21. So when it comes to having this conversation, what age should parents or caregivers be talking to their kids? It's really interesting. You think kind of that older age, but mm -hmm. really we talk about between nine and 13. A lot of kids make oh, their decision okay. about underage drinking. It's, it's kind of surprising. But if, they can, if we can keep kids uh, alcohol free until they're 21, then, then they have this, they have a great chance at a strong brain and, and just a healthy future. More. So many positive things happen yeah. by having these conversations. And I imagine these conversations are probably not the easiest to have. <laughs> what tips do you have for parents in giving the, in talking to their kids about underage drinking? You know, you think of it as such a kind of a heavy subject, right? Mm -hmm. Underage drinking and, mm -hmm. and staying healthy, but it really can be broken into smaller things. It can okay. be at, at times uh, when you're, maybe back to school shopping, you know, all these things <laughs> they have to go and get all of the list of, of supplies or, you know, back to school clothes shopping or something and starting these small conversations about, you know, has it ever come up? Mm -hmm. What are their friends doing? What, you know, who are they yeah. uh, meeting and all these kinds of things. That's really important. Making it simple rather than this yeah. huge conversation right away. And having a consistent message. So mm -hmm. talking about again, mm -hmm. not a one and done, but you know, Bringing it up every once in a while. We also know that kids that have dinner together with their families okay. at least five times a week, they are less likely to um, become alcohol dependent. So that's a great time to talk about around the dinner table, you're, you're uh -huh. stuck eating dinner, so why not talk? <laughs> So, it's a great I'm thing. sure some teenagers <laughs> feel that way, stuck having dinner. Right? In addition to those conversations, are there any other things parents can do to help their kids? Absolutely. Uh, like I said, a consistent message, mm -hmm. um, strong disapproval, mm -hmm. setting those clear rules, asking the who, what, when, where, why, all those questions. And then there is, there are uh, resources available on parentsempowered.org that are okay. always helpful to start those conversations. We have chit chat cards, we have Perfect. activities, you know, things you can make together as a family, recipes, all those kinds of things um, that are just so helpful to, to have these little conversations. Perfect. Liz, thank you so much for coming in. And one more time, where can we go for more information? Parentsempowered.org uh, is a great resource. Love it. Again, thank you for taking the time to come in and chatting with us on such an important topic. Well, thank you for having me again.